Have you ever had an event or had a public speaking engagement that you just didn't quite feel ready for? Have you ever had to craft a speech within a really limited amount of time and yet deliver it as if you've been doing this all day long for years? Watch this video to learn exactly how to craft your next speech fast and how I crafted my TEDx talk within three weeks and delivered it pretty awesomely. And for the best leadership tips, entrepreneurship advice, and subconscious success strategies to help you stand out fearlessly, build your empire, and crown yourself, subscribe to this YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell to make sure you are notified every Tuesday and Friday when a new video goes live. Hey there, I'm Kimberly Spencer, high performance coach and founder of crownyourself.com. And recently I was blessed with my dream coming true to have a TEDx talk. Now, I have had this dream for like, years. Like this has been on my vision board for years. And back in 2019, I had a TEDx Davenport organizer on my podcast, The Princess and the Bee, sharing all about the prep and the work and the time that it takes to put together a TEDx talk. And she said that it was like six months to a year of full on, fully engaged prep. Well, I had three weeks. So I had to put together a speech pretty darn fast and deliver it as if I'd been doing it all day long for years. Here's exactly how I did it. Step number one. So even though I only had three weeks to prepare a TEDx talk, I have been producing content for years. So I looked to initially, what were those topics that I regularly talk about? I normally talk about ownership, authenticity, values, possibility, decision-making, courage. These are topics that I speak on on a regular basis. I talk about them on our podcast. I write about them on our blog. I write about them in our newsletters and in our in our regular emails. So I, I share about them on Instagram posts. So these are themes, possibility, decision-making, genius zone, courage, ownership, authenticity. These are themes that I regularly speak, write, and create content around. So instead of trying to reinvent the wheel and create something entirely new and different, I did step number two, and I looked back on my past content that I created. I looked back on topics on courage, on experiences around my dad dying, because that was a really big moment this past January, and I was writing a lot to work through that healing process. So I took pieces of those posts and those content, those pieces of content that I'd written already and drag and drop them into a TEDx format. So look back on past content that you've created, maybe your blogs or your social media posts or your podcast episodes or YouTube videos that you've already created so that you're not reinventing the wheel when you only have three weeks or a short amount of time to prepare. And instead you can choose to speak on something that you already know because your subconscious mind will remember you writing it. Once you've pulled in these pieces of content and you start to see a general theme shaping, then step number three, create your outline. So, I redid and rewrote my outline several times for my TED Talk. I went from having about seven points that I was going to discuss into only three. And there is a, for some reason, odd numbers do very well. So three tips, five tips, seven strategies, but odd numbers do very well. So if you can condense seven big ideas into three, you can really craft a tight outline that you can then structure your story in. You can structure your speech in. Once you've built the foundational teachable structure, then definitely bring in step number four, the heart space. We as humans are emotional beings. We connect with emotions, not with logic. And so if you can bring into the story and into your speech and kick it off, from that space of heart to then lead into these tactile tips and strategies that you've crafted, that heart space will then really allow your audience to connect and empathize so that they will actually be able to receive the information that you give them on a deeper level because they will resonate with it. Step number five, get a second or third pair of eyes on your content. So for me, this was not only having my husband listen to the speech, review it, and give me feedback because he's been a professional speaker for 30 years. I also hired a professional speaker coach, Rachel Rodriguez, LinkedIn connect down below. 
And she is not only a speaker coach, but also an author. So she could help me craft that story and cr- design the concept so that it flowed, flowed in a, in a way that I could, it was condensed into the 12.5 ish minutes that I had. Brevity is not my specialty. So having that second or third pair of eyes and ears to listen to it, to see what did I need to cut? What did I need to trim? What could I completely leave out? What was in left field? What we ended up doing was I started out with having five points that I was going to be talking about, and I cut them down into having three very basic principles for making a decision and becoming a warrior for possibility and what that really meant. So we collapsed a few of the other four and five principles into these one, two, and three points. So that made my talk shorter instead of the, I think, 60 minutes that it would have been had I not had a second or third pair of eyes on my TED Talk. And let me know in the comments below what tip is going to serve you best for crafting your next speech fast. And if you are looking to take your public speaking to a whole new level, have you tried podcasts? Because by being on podcasts, I was able to practice and have at least a hundred episodes behind me that prepared me to be able to speak eloquently in a TED Talk. I had the practice of being on other people's podcasts that helped me develop my oratory skill set. So if you want to learn how to get booked on podcasts and how to profit from podcasts in your business, then definitely click the link below to get on the waitlist for Communication Queens. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. As always, my fellow sovereigns, own your throne, mind your business, because your reign is now. And for the best leadership tips, sub... Okay. <clears throat> so bouncy. I chose to sit on the bed instead of the chair. Just loosen me up a bit. All right. And let me know in the comments below what out of the five tips was...